Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create some PrestaShop model in 2024. So we're diving into how to create a custom model for PrestaShop. Of course, models extend the functionality of your PrestaShop store, allowing you to add some new features and customize your size to, of course, better meet your needs. Whether you are a seasoned developer or just starting out, this step-by-step -step guide will help you create your own PrestaShop model in 2024. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will need, of course, to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave for you. You can use whatever you want. So once you open it, go to the URL section. Basically, just type prestashop.com. So once you do so, of course, you'll have to click on get started. Just if you have an account, just click on login, of course, to log in into your account. You can even use login with Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging in into your account. And you should be logged in. As you can see, even if it's your first time, they'll ask you some questions like, as an example, just answer. As an example, I'm a freelancer, company name, I'll just name it here, Omics, and click on save. And I should be logged in into an account, as you can see, without any problems. Of course, if it's your first time, you'll have to click on get started. Then, of course, here you'll have to choose do you want classic, hosted, or custom. Classic is free. Hosted is because you'll have to pay per month, and custom you can you should contact them. So if you click on classic, of course, you'll have to click on download to download this into uh, of course your uh, to download their app, which is PrestaShop. And I'll just go do freelancer again. Click on download, of course. What you'll be able to download, of course, here they will give you the guide. As you can see, step by step guide to download your uh, online or to create your online store. To download, of course, this, then create your online store. So it'll show you how to install this example, step by step guide, automatic and manual. You have videos for each uh, of the options. And even, of course, you'll have to, you'll see here the steps of configuring it, then personalize it however you want. This especially. If you want to go with a hosting provider, if you if you want, of course, to go with a hosting provider that they pr provide, example, like a hosting partner, like a hostinger or this one, or even the hosting that PrestaShop have. If you want to host it on, on your local host to try things out, as example, so how to uh, host, as example, or how to uh, use Presta or to install, how to install, as example, so how to install, uh, Presta shop on local host. All I need to do is simply then click on the first link. And as you can see here, you'll see this set up by uh, the step by step guide example. So to install it on your local host, so they should take you here to install this map, then simply install the Presta. Uh, basically install one of those then simply go and create a folder put those things in make sure to start the servers go to this and type local like host and name uh, of course slash name the folder that you created normally i have it on presta shop so make sure to go and do that by your own as you can see an article that will show you exactly what you should do to install it on your local host if you wanna get things uh, started now it's time to show you how to create a Presta model. As an example, let's see. So create like a Presta, uh, so Presta shop model as an example. So model and hit the enter button. So as you can see, creating your first model tutorial by Presta shop. So all you need to do is simply go in through this article and we we'll should be good to go. So an example models, of course, first of all, before like tutorial, there's an instru introduction to models. So technical pr principles, uh, principles uh, behind a model, models operating principles, main difference between 1.6 and 1.7 models, module folder. And of course here, how to get started basically with the tutorial of how to create your first model, how to do folder structure, how to add the configuration page, modern configuration page, displaying content on, on the front of course offers, enabling the auto updates, model trans translation, good practice for development model, and e uh, lastly, interacting with the API. So an example here, we'll just follow the steps of the tutorial of creating your first model. So if you want to create your first model, of course, or basically create a Presta shop model, you'll have just to follow this article and you should be good to go. So let's start. As you can see, before you start writing the code for your Presta shop model, we recommend reading the Presta shop coding standards as an example. So you will need to follow this coding standards for sure. So you don't have any problems while you're creating your Presta shop model as an example. So you have here making your code, follow the coding standards as you can see. So uh, this PHP CS fixer has 
has been configured for the PrestaShop project to help developers to comply with these conventions. So as you can see, you can run it using the following command. As you can see, so PHP uh, vendor bin uh, PHP uh, CS fixer fix, and you'll be able to fix your code on uh, depending on the senders that they have. There's even here a document type example, an example of it, the string, uh, the strict type as an example, and even some deprecations here as an example, an example of it. Then the JavaScript uh, code convention, TypeScript, HTML, CSS, as an example, everything. So everything about their coding senders, you will be able to see it here. Uh, of course, that will let you configure the IDE hint or using automated tools. As an example, you can use some automated tools which can help you make sure you follow the project standards properly, as an example. So this is the code. As an example, you can implement it. So you can simply just, uh, this automated tool will help you follow the code and standards no matter what. And as you can see, it's time to create a simple first model. So this will allow us to better describe the structure and we will name it my model as an example. So first, you'll have to create the model uh, folder, uh, PrestaShop slash model folder, and you can call it as an example for them here. They call it my model for you. You can call it whatever you want. And this will be the model technical name. As you can see, so they here show you the constant tests, how to do it. Then the main class example. So if you need to add more classes later, which is just writing one single class per file. Then of course they show you the constructor method. And as you can see, let's examine each line. So here they will examine each line. So as I said, just follow this uh, basically article. So I'm not going to read everything because this will take a lot of time. So for you, all you need to do is access this article on the devs docs shop uh, dash project dot org slash eight slash model slash creating slash tutorial or basically just type what I type in Google which is an example how to create PrestaShop model click on the first link and you'll have access to that and you can simply read it and follow it one by one as you can see it's the install method here the end install method uh, the configuration project the shop objects as an example everything that you will need to know uh, on creating your PrestaShop model so that if you follow this article you should have created your Prest, uh, Presta shop of course model on a lot of different ways depending on whatever you want so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and goodbye